Hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.2. Um, I did this video already, it's just that I um, didn't show you my device, so I just decided since I am um, um, on my table and ready to do it, I'll do it anyway. So, um, this is freshly restored, all I did was set it up with my stuff. You can actually do that um, connected to your internet and all of that. As you can see, it is on iOS 7.1.2 and it isn't jailbroken. So, as you can see, it's just a stock icon here. Um, I haven't changed anything on it. So, it isn't jailbroken, and I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak it. So, this will work on any device, it's not just iPhone 4. Um, as long as you're on iOS 7.1 to iOS 7.1.2, this tutorial will work for you anything higher like iOS 8 this tutorial won't work so don't try otherwise you could end up breaking your device okay so the couple things you're gonna need as I always do I will put it in the description which is the 7.1 jailbreak uh, which is this one here um, um, it will not be like that it will actually say Pangu jailbreak I've just changed it here so it's, it, it is an untethered jailbreak, so you guys might like this. You do not have to run it as an administrator, which is actually kind of good. Um, do not plug out your device anywhere through this jailbreak. I'm going to repeat that again. Do not plug out your device any time during the jailbreak, or you might end up having to restore and try again. So it will say loading sources, and then it will say connect your device to bring jailbreak. All you have to do is you will need this cable here, and you'll also need this. Um, USB cable and all you have to do is plug it into the computer and click trust and wait for, for Pangu to realize that it's plugged in so as you can see it says detecting a new device and then it says iPhone 4 3.3 with iOS 7.1.2 click jailbreak to start so um, let's get started all you have to do is click jailbreak and it will say injecting bundles and then it will say adjust screen date to September to June 2nd so as you can see it will go through the instructions on how to do it you just go to general date and time and then click this and then go here um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, let me put this up a bit more, let's go from the beginning. So what you need to do is you need to open settings, go to general, and go down to date and time, which is right here, and then turn it off, and click on date and time, and change it to June 2nd. Um, once you've changed it to June 2nd, the jailbreak will automatically start. But as you can see, I have to. Oops, July 2nd. I have to change it to June 2nd, sorry. Um, so as you can see, it automatically starts. You just exit out of um, settings and leave it there. And it will carry on um, installing. As you can see, there is a new icon on your iPhone. It got on there pretty fast, um, which is actually kind of good. If you your device doesn't need to be fully restored to do this jailbreak, you can have your um, previous stuff on it. But I suggest you fully restore your device before doing the jailbreak, and I definitely suggest you back up your device and restore the backup once you finish the jailbreak. So, um, as you can see, Pangu is there, which is what the app is called and you just leave it you do not open it you do not touch it you just stay on that page and as you can see it says please tap the pangu icon to continue after it's gotten to a certain point that's what it will say all you have to do is click on the pangu icon this little box will come up here it will say continue or quit all you have to do is click continue and the pangu um item will come up and then it will say pangu.io I'm not sure if you guys can see that if I go back out a bit more. But it says Pangu IO and it says keep the device connected and do not close the app. And on the actual tool it says Pangu jailbreak for iOS 7.1. Um, 
dash 7.1.x I'm processing just wait wait a few minutes so I'm gonna leave it to go all the way through so you guys can see what how long it actually takes to do this so far it hasn't been too long it's much faster than downgrading your device it's just um, a lot of iPhone 4 users their device is way too slow and they just want to be able to have a fast device so that's why they use the downgrade I will put a link to the downgrade in the description and it will also be an annotation on the screen so if you want if you're an iPhone 4 user and you want to downgrade back to iOS 6.1.3 remember that it is a tethered downgrade guys it's a tethered downgrade I will put a link to it in the description and also in an annotation so you can just go there real quick and downgrade your device this jailbreak will not apply to your downgrade um, you, there's two versions you can d downgrade with a jailbreak and downgrade without a jailbreak it is totally up to you I'm sorry about before the webcam was actually um, the webcam view was actually blocking the actual what you can see on the jailbreak but now I just made it bigger so you guys can actually see what I see but this is still the full tutorial I didn't make any stops in it or change anything it does take a few minutes as it says on the jailbreak but as it slowly moves across the kind of like spray looking spray paint looking UI is actually really good um, they did update Pangu so this is kind of gonna be a jailbreak update also this will be jailbreak update via 7 plus the Pangu jailbreak um, they updated Pangu to work with um, I was something one and all of that they it was already updated but they did update make a few changes to Pangu um, if you guys were on iPhone 4, you would know that um, you will know that it wasn't working before. Like you kept on having crashes, and plus um, your device will be in a boot loop sometimes, and you have to boot it into safe mode and then boot it out. Um, they did change that and fix that up, and they also put AFC. If you guys don't know what that is, it's automatically installed onto your device. It's kind of like a pre-installer um, and what it does it allows you to get root access to your device kind of like Android where you automatically get root access to your device this just gives you root access to your iPhone instead of Android so it did take a bit longer for me because uh, there was something I was doing wrong but if you guys just follow this tutorial, you won't be doing anything wrong. Um, so once you've come to the processing device, after that, your device will reboot and it will say, do not disconnect your device. Guys, please make sure you do not disconnect your device because I don't want a bunch of spam in the comments saying um, it didn't work or I got a problem or my computer disconnected it and it didn't it stopped working. It's probably because either your cable is not working properly or you disconnected it by mistake. So do not disconnect your device. It will say reboot in your device and it will completely disconnect from your computer. All you have to do is wait for it to connect back and wait for your device to boot up. So as you just heard that sound, that is the sound of it booting back up. Um, and then it say reboot, boot complete, unlock your device, make sure it's not password protected. That's one thing I forgot to tell you guys. Make sure your device is not password protected before and after the jailbreak is then completed. So, um, we just swipe to unlock here and um, one more thing guys if you want to keep your device your iPhone 4 sorry running fast I suggest not installing too many tweaks otherwise your device will definitely start to slow down if you're on iPhone 5s you have nothing to worry about because you have a bunch of space and you have a bunch of RAM on your device 
um, it will come up with an error on your iPhone saying full space and full memory. Don't worry, that's just there. I'm not sure why. Um, just click done and you won't have full space. It's just saying that. And then it'll say cleaning up, then done. And as you can see, my device is rebooting. You can see that spinny icon there telling me it's rebooting. I would still recommend that you leave your device connected, even though you don't have to if you don't want to. So while my device is rebooting, I'm just going to go through the Pangu website and show you guys what they actually changed. OK, so now, as you can see, I'm on the Pangu website, and I'm in the change log. So um, they did do two updates. The first one, as you can see here, as I said before, fix the boot loop bug for some iPhone 4 slash 4S, um, fix the sandbox log issues. AFC2, I explain what that is, is now included automatically in the jailbreak. Add patch for task for PID. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, just go in the help section or explain it to you. Um, and they also added a notification if the jailbreak fails. So on your device, it will say a notification telling you your jailbreak has failed. So that is new. And in 1.2.1, they fixed the crash issue with Windows devices. Windows computers, so as you can see, they have 1.2.1 and 1.2.0. So don't think on Mac it's just a lower, it's the lower firmware. Don't think any of that. It's just um, there were some crashes on Windows they decided they wanted to fix. So that's what's new. So as you can see, if you look at my device, um, Cydia is there and it is, seems like it's frozen. No, it's not. So Cydia is there. Do not install too many tweaks, guys, if you're on iPhone 4. iPhone 4 S, a certain amount of tweaks is allowed, otherwise you might end up um, installing too many. But iPhone 5, I've, anything above iPhone 5 or iPhone 5 in general, in general will move fast with the jailbreak. You can install as much tweaks as you want, but don't go overboard with the tweaks, guys. You might break your device. Um, don't get scared about breaking your device. It's really hard to break your device and install and tweaks, especially on the I new one gig memory. And what not one gig memory, one gig RAM, sorry. So as you can see, it says preparing file system, Cydia will exit when complete. And it has that spinning icon. When this is finished, I will show you guys it actually respringing, which is what it will do after. As I said before, you can plug it out if you want. You don't have to. Um, that's totally up to you. So as you can see guys, it says storage is almost full. A lot of people get scared at this point thinking it's taken up all of their storage. Um, it hasn't taken up any of your, well barely any of your storage. It's just saying that it's just an error that automatically pops up because it's installing files and uninstalling files that it doesn't need, which is good because some files on your device come, that come with Apple you don't exactly need. So that's what it's doing. It's just cleaning up your system. Um, I'm really reinstalling and deleting some stuff. So don't be too scared about that. And I'll come back to you once it's respinged again. So as you can see, it comes up with the Apple logo and that sound that tells you the iPhone is turning on just came and you're back on. So there is the iPhone 4. It says, for me, it says searching because I haven't got any network on this. I have more than one phone and my iPhone 4 I just use for videos so it says 19% charged because I char I'm charging it at the same time um, so you'll see CD there again you just click on CD again and it'll say loading and at this point your jailbreak has definitely been completed once you see the loading screen and you see CD pop up with all of this your jailbreak has been completed you've got nothing else to do um, so this is an X original tech. If you like, please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And definitely go and check out my website because I will be posting a bunch of stuff on my website and also on my Twitter. Because on my website I'll be posting a bunch of links and on my Twitter I'll be posting all of the information that you guys need about mostly everything. So this is X original tech signing out. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.